And today we are back at it again with the part three on how to start a mobile car wash. Hey, how you guys? I gotta say this real quick though. This video is gonna be another legendary. It's gonna be dope. So, with that being said, man, if you like this video, you gotta like it, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? If you have not subscribed to this channel, I'm telling you right now, man, come on and subscribe because I'm pretty sure you're gonna find some informative information in this video that's gonna make you want to subscribe. I'm guessing, I hope so, that I have something. But with that being said, if you want to learn how to set up your equipment and what equipment to buy, you might as well just stay tuned in this video because it's going to be another legendary video. With that being said, you guys, let's dive right into this video. All right, guys, we're going to do a recap of the equipment that we had from the last time. As I promised you guys, we will buy some new equipment. The first thing that we actually reviewed the last time was the vacuum. We have the rigid, which is the uh, 5.0 pixel, which is a 12 gallon. And we're not really going to take the time to go in very detail because we only did in the part two of this video. So now we have the IBC, which is the water tank, which I noticed today that we have a thousand gallon of water. Man, this is huge. And also we have the pressure washer that would actually help us with the quick washing of the car. And also, like I had mentioned, that we was going to get some extended hose. We have that now, which we're going to actually get into just a second. But we've been talking about this generator for a very long time that being said you guys i'm going to show you what we got as far as your generator let me show you come on as voila we have the western house generator which is a portable generator the reason why that i actually pick generator is how quiet this generator can be and out of all the generators that's out there you guys this one is actually very affordable. So one of the main things that I actually like about this generator is the quiet operation. One of the safety features that they have in this generator is the low oil shut off protection that it comes with. So this generator actually will shut off by itself if you do not have the right amount of oil. This one actually comes with the options where you can remotely start your generator if you like. So it's a little bit more expensive, a little bit more louder, as we know that this is for the uh, a car wash we need something that's a little bit more quiet that can get the job done and the reason why they actually get this amount of running watts is because when i'm going to have my uh a vacuum plug to it and my extractor to actually shift to the seats i need enough power and this um generator was, was the best option that i can find out there for my budget i'm pretty sure there's probably you no know, better generator that i could find as far as hondas and so on and so forth but this one was actually fit my budget perfectly fine so with that being said you guys we're gonna actually start with showing you how to set up each and every one of the equipment that we have right now. All right guys, now we're gonna show you how to set up each and every one of the equipment one by one. I have a look on YouTube. I have not seen a video that gives you so much details on how to set up from scratch. Ah man, they call it grass now, I guess. Yeah, you guys gonna have a hard time to hear me. Hey, bear with me, you don't. So pretty much the first thing that you need to have is you need a guardian hose that can connect from your IBC. Anyhow, you guys, as you can hear it, they're cutting the grass. They got to do what they got to do. I still got to do what I got to do. You feel me? But anyhow, guys. So I have this guarding hose, which is the universal guarding hose, a 10 feet long, which is going to connect from the IBC to the pressure washer. So with that being said, you guys, let me show you how to get that. three things that we're going to need in order for us to connect the water tank to the pressure washer the first piece that we need is a two inch pvc cap and the second piece that we need is a one and a half inch pvc connector that can actually allow us to have the tip where we can put the hose connector that would actually connect the water hose to the pressure washer and right now as you see i'm showing you we need a cement to actually connect all those pvc and now for us to prevent leak so you know when we connect the PVC together, you always need the PVC cement and we have the heavy duty one that can actually help us with the leaking issue that is very common when it comes to connecting the PVC pipes. So you guys stay with me and watch. Let's see how we're going to get this done.
All right, so in order for us to screw this on there, so in order for us to not having leak, we have to put some seal all around this, okay? So we're gonna... We have the pressure uh, washer connect to the uh, water tank so the water will flow through this hose here into the pressure washer and now we need to actually connect the pressure hose that would connect from the pressure washer to the gun so I'm going to show you guys how to do that and we actually bought ourselves a hundred feet long uh, pressure washer hose and uh, and we got this one from uh, Northern Tools and I'm actually going to show you guys the one that I actually have and this one is the best one that you can find and i think he's running around like 200 plus dollars almost 300 dollars for this one and hey i'm trying to get the best equipment possible so uh let me show you guys let me show you. boom that's a hundred feet long hose this one you don't need to take the actually pressure washer off the vent as you can see the actual garden hose that connected from the water tank to the pressure washer is not long enough so I need to have a long cable that can actually set uh, while the pressure washer set on the vent and still be able to pull it 100 feet away. We had a little problem as far as this actually cable. I decided to do a voiceover you guys so that way I can eliminate the uh, noise in the background. Pretty much what I was trying to explain in this video was the pressure washer adapter cable that I have was not going to be able to fit into the pressure washer that I have because the main issue that we have was that the adapter come with a quick disconnect option where this dishwasher doesn't even give you that option. It only have a, a, a fitting hose option. So which again, this pressure washer hose didn't have that option because it comes comes with two ends. One end is a plug into the quick disconnect and the other end is the actual disconnect, uh, quick disconnect. But what we had to do is we had to buy a swivel, which is the M22 14 millimeter swivel fitting that I would actually have to plug into the quick disconnect and turn the plug in quick disconnect into also a swivel fitting where I can actually connect it to the pressure washer into the gun. So that's uh, the better explanation I can actually give you guys and you may not really understand the full explanation if you have not stepped into the pressure washer of our world and understand the different cables option that you have. Pretty much a simple explanation of what we did was we turned a, a pressure washer adapter that has a plug and quick disconnect to the pressure washer 
and the other tip which is also a quick disconnect so we turn into a swivel fitting both end had to be a swivel fitting so which we actually bought a m22 14 millimeter a swivel and another m22 14 millimeter male that would actually fit for the other ten. so you guys as you can see follow along with me for the rest of this video come on if you need one just like this you would have to buy it from northern like northern tools and this will probably cost you about 200 plus dollars almost um of uh, 300 dollars something you guys where I can actually hook this because I don't have the wheel I would eventually buy the wheel that can actually hold the uh, the cable for the pressure washer this is actually going to be mounted on the wall like this where all of this would fit on there just like that you know so they would actually go right here that can actually hold the cable uh, whenever you're done you can fold it right back up to make it more convenient so what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this in the back of the pressure washer and in the back of the gun so let's get that done right now So what I'm going to need to do is, you guys, I'm going to secure everything that I'm actually showing you. It's just pretty much I'm setting it up. I'm going to make sure that they secure, they actually uh, uh, place in the right area, well, which that's where they're going to be uh, be at exactly. But I'm going to make sure they're secure so when they finish driving and not floating all around. So I'm going to actually zip lock them or something. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but we shall figure this out later on, you guys. And on the other tip, like I was showing you earlier, so now this uh, and here we'll be able to screw on onto the gun so right now we have the gun with a hundred feet long holes that connects to the back of the pressure washer into the water tank so now we can easily do this <laughs> we have the generator which I'm gonna actually put on there come on I got it all the way out here right let me see how strong I am man let me see up, 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 up. <laughs> this is gonna place right here the reason why I place it in this form is because I want this muffler to face outwards so when the car is actually well when the generator is moving so you can actually bring this direction as you can see here it shows warning hot surface so this area is going to be pretty hot so we want to make sure you know it's actually breathing the proper way or what we can do is we can put this on the other side but anyhow i think for right now that's the best place i can actually put this the hole is going to be placing on the side and for the vacuum here the vacuum is going to place in between them so pretty much I'm not going to take it out of the box just yet um, but it will place right here it will place right here where we actually connect to the generator the reason why I won't really have to move it because I have a 35 feet long extended holes for the 
uh, uh, vacuum so where it, would, it can actually sit on the truck and I can just use the hose and turn it on and be able to actually vacuum a car that's at least 100 feet away, well 30, 35 feet away from the car. So which I'm going to leave this again in the back. Alright guys, so now, well I didn't forget, so the portable generator comes with some tools. So the first thing we can actually notice is we have this little plastic here that can absorb the shaking of the uh, 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 generator when it's actually running. Let's see if you actually park it on the concrete and you will need to mount in this underneath the generator so that way when it's actually running, you know, it's kind of shaking, like, you know, shaking. So when it's actually sit on the rubber, these rubber uh, stands, it would actually help to absorb the uh, the pressure, the shaking. So then the, the next thing we see, we have a little, uh, we call that entonnoir, entonnoir en français. On appelle ça entonnoir en français. So you call that entonnoir in English. You twist your tongue and say in a certain way. Anyhow, you guys, you just tell me what you name it. So this is actually for you to put oil in your generator. It actually comes with that four stroke um, oil, which is a small um, engine oil. So this one, you actually put it in the uh, generator before you start it and you put actually fuel, gas in there and you're good to go. So this is pretty convenient. And also we have some wheels, you guys, if you wanna, you know, move this uh, generator um, a little bit, you know, if you're gonna move it a whole lot. So you have the option to mount this on there and you could just put it on there, which I probably wanna shoot another video and showing you exactly how I'm actually setting it up. But I don't think that we're gonna need to use this because it's just gonna sit on the truck 24 seven. And you guys, I think that's, uh, that's very convenient. And a lot of you, I know you thought that was pizza. No, I know you would die too. No, no, no pizza for you, man. We're gonna put it back in the box. So what we're gonna do is gonna wrap up, you guys. We're gonna wrap up, we're gonna wrap it up. But anyhow, you guys, we gotta put this pizza back inside the box. You guys want some pizza? Pizza delivery! Delivery! This was about to be a Christmas present, but you won't die. You can't eat pizza, unfortunately. Ah! <laughs> this is the book. I can actually show you how to set it up so you don't need me so you can just read the book follow the instruction well you don't need the book because you have me i'm gonna break it down in a similar format for you <laughs> you know what we forgot mm. voila you guys i bought me a tire if you watch the first video that i drove about the car wash this tire was flat that means i did not have a spare tire but this time we do have a spare tire look at this Look at this. This is very new. Brand. Was it brand new? No, it's not. Oh. Was it? Mm -mm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Let's put it inside, right? Go put it in there. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Thirty my close. Today's what? Thursday? Mm -hmm. Should we go? We still gonna work out? Yeah. Should we take them with us? Yeah. We should? Yes. You capping? No cap. You, you want to do it for real, for real? Mm -hmm. Man, you're lying, cuz you want to put this part in the video for real? Mm -hmm. I don't only do car reviews, I don't only do car wash videos, I do workout too. They need to subscribe to this channel, man. Like you guys subscribe. need to subscribe, like, and comment what you think about the videos that we drop you guys. Like I said again, it's not all about me, it's all about all of you because we all a family, man. Like I said again, man, I was long guy is good, life always gonna be good, so away, man. What else do you want? Well, I don't know where to put this. This is supposed to go underneath the car, man. Let me see. Yeah, but it's supposed to go in there. Mm -hmm. Screw it on there, but I'm gonna just put it on the other side. Cause this is gonna be too much work. Bro. I'm gonna just.